My name is John Flores, and this is my midterm profile summary. Uh, the focus of my midterm profile summary is Dwayne Hanbury. Uh, Mr. Hanbury is a commissioner of the Southern Collegiate Athletic Conference, or the SCAC. Uh, some background on the SCAC. Uh, was founded in 1962 as the Collegiate Athletic Contra Conference and was restructured in 1991, renaming itself the Southern Collegiate Athletic Conference. And it hired its first full-time commissioner, Stephen P. Argo. Uh, it was formed to, prov to provide an association through which the member institutions may encourage organized competition in intercollegiate sports among teams representative of their respective student bodies. Uh, currently, the conference is composed of eight member schools, including Austin College of Sherman, Texas, Centenary College of Shreveport, Louisiana, Colorado College of Colorado Springs, Colorado, the University of Dallas of Irving, Texas, Shriner University of Kerrville, Texas, Southwestern University of Georgetown, Texas, Texas Lutheran University of Seguin, Texas, and Trinity University of San Antonio, Texas. A little bit educational background on Mr. Hanbury. Uh, Mr. Hanbury received his BA in Business Administration from Oglethorpe University in 1998. Uh, he was a two-year starter on the Petro basketball team and is still one of the school's all-time leaders for single season field goal percentage, career field goal percentage, and rebounds per game. Uh, following a short bout in the business world right out of college, he made a career change and he was hired by the SCAC as an intern. Uh, according to the SCAC website, Commissioner Hanbury was hired by the SCAC in 1995 as the Sports Information Director. Uh, from there, he worked his way up the chain of leadership and was promoted to Assistant Commissioner in 2000. And shortly after Mr. Hanbury was named Associate Commissioner in 2005 and served as the Interim Commissioner prior to being named the Commissioner in January of 2008. Uh, Mr. Hanbury describes his promotional steps for the job as it being mostly the right place, the right time, uh, and he worked his way to the top. Mr. Hanbury took the initiative to take on tasks and responsibilities outside of his set job requirements and earned the trust of the conference administrators and coaches along the way. Uh, with the growing structure of collegiate conferences and the always growing popularity of collegiate athletics, Athletic conference commissioners have seen an increasing amount of complexity to their respective jobs. Commissioners' responsibilities include setting agendas, pushing policy, building consensus, maintaining diplomatic relations with other commissioners, disputes to mediate, scandals to navigate, disciplinary action to dole out, all along with public and media criticism to endure. Uh, during our interview, Mr. Hanbury elaborated uh, and gave a more detailed look into the job responsibilities of a conference commissioner. Uh, what he included was represent the conference as the executive director under direct supervision of the board of directors, assist in the development, coordination, imp and implementation of conference policies and the operation of the conference office, maintain proper accounting records and present a financial report, provide publicity and coordinate the public and media relations, represent the conference at National Collegiate Athletic Association or NCAA meetings, and serve as liaison with the NCAA and other athletic conferences. Uh, while these are by no means all encompassing in the responsibilities of a commissioner, they do offer an insight into the day-to-day -day tasks and duties. Uh, Mr. Hanbury also noted that there are other skills and special requirements that are beneficial, beneficial excuse me, to being a successful commissioner. Uh, he believes strong interpersonal and decision-making skills and the ability to effectively communicate and build relationships with internal and external constituents are vital. Uh, he also pointed that a general knowledge of sports is helpful, but the deciding factor is being a good leader and being someone who cares to do what is right and fair is what is most important. Throughout our course, we have studied what leadership styles and principles are most effective. Um, I believe Mr. Hanbury exhibits the traits of effective leadership. Uh, based on my interview with him and readings from our textbook, uh, I believe he shows the traits and practices of a servant leader. 
Servant leaders practice humility, authenticity, interpersonal acceptance, provide a direction, and take responsibility for the entire organization. Uh, Mr. Hanbury exhibited these traits through various answers to questions from our interview. Uh, one such answer was in response to any special requirements or personality required for the position. Uh, Mr. Hanbury responded that one must be willing to accept criticism without taking things personally. And that as a conference commissioner, you have to make decisions that appear you are taking sides and you must be able to explain your reasoning and be willing to stand up for what you believe. Uh, in that exchange, Mr. Hanbury is showing his leadership practices of authenticity, humility, and providing direction. Another showing of his leadership style is that he believes the most interesting aspect of the job is working for and with student athletes and promoting the quality of institutions and students within the conference. Some best practices Mr. Hanbury described were to be a good leader, and that's knowing when it's time to manage and when it's time to lead. Uh, he relies heavily on building relationships with student athletes, coaches, the athletic directors within the conference, other conference commissioners. Uh, and he pointed out that working for and with student athletes. Uh, a lot of commissioners don't see it as working for student athletes. Mr. Hanbury pointed out without them, those conference commissioners don't have any jobs. And also brand building to promote the quality of institutions and students within the conference. Uh, the SCA, SCAC is a Division Three conference uh, where they really focus on the overall college experience and the academic side. Uh, so Mr. Hanbury enjoys promoting the quality of both the institutions and the students. Uh, the most detailed and wide scope and example that shows all aspects of his leadership practices is an example Mr. Hanbury provided me when asked to provide an example of his leadership. Uh, in the situation, DePaul University had announced that they were going to leave the SEAC at the end of the 2011 year. Uh, upon that announcement, some coaches and athletic directors within the conference were upset and wanted to penalize or punish DePaul for leaving the conference. Uh, pretty quickly, Mr. Hamburg was flooded with emails from other coaches and athletic directors to move the conference field hockey championships, which were to be held at DePaul that year, to another location. Uh, they cited that the field at DePaul was not high quality enough to have a championship tournament on. Uh, Mr. Hamburg went on and said that while he knew DePaul's field wasn't ever spectacular, uh, it certainly wasn't as bad as these coaches and athletic directors were making it seem based on some previous visits he had made to the school and the field. Rather than just give in to these coaches and athletic directors, uh, Mr. Hanbury decided to fly to Greencastle, Indiana to watch DePaul play and observe the condition of their field in person. Um, by doing this, this allowed him to make an educated decision on whether or not to move the tournament and put DePaul in a situation that really alienated them from the rest of the conference prior to them even leaving. Uh, his ultimate decision was to continue with the tournament as scheduled at DePaul, uh, and he concluded that the tournament and the championships went off without any problems other than a few gripes and aches from a handful of coaches. Uh, Mr. Hanbury's job as a conference commissioner is by no means an easy job, but what it can provide is a unique opportunity to influence and impact young adults at a crucial point in their lives, being young and college age. Uh, he did leave some advice for current students who are wishing to break into the same uh, sports world that he's in, uh, and he encouraged to volunteer to do anything to assist within the athletics department, uh, between keeping stats, running video equipment, creating graphics, uh, or even offering assistance with social media accounts. Um, he said, especially at smaller schools, the athletic staff is overworked and understaffed, and they would most certainly welcome the help. Uh, not only does it help the athletics department, it also helps the student uh, for some good resume building, and it helps make connections within the sports world for when you need those connections later on. Uh, there's a picture of Mr. Hanbury. 
that he was profiled by an Atlanta newspaper. Uh, their office is based out of Atlanta. A quote from Mr. Hanbury being someone who cares to do what is right and fair is most important. Is my work cited? Thank you very much.